Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time, we finally took out the hag, came across town, and handed in the quest, and now we are, annoyingly, really annoyingly, 53 XP short of level 9. Now, I can't even really recall what happens at level 9. It might be a um, proficiency bonus increase, which is kind of mega. So... I was wondering if perhaps we might skulk over here where there are some guards and just consider murking a couple of city guards. Do we know how much HP you have? 84. That's not going to be a bother, is it? Now, how quickly can we try and start murdering you? There's these two over here as well. Is there any others? There's one just on the other side of this building somewhere there. So four of them in all, if backup doesn't come or anything like that. Let's... How about we do something like this? Since we're probably good... Well, we must have long rested on the walk over, so we're actually fine. First of all, let's get some mage armor going. Then I'm going to cast... Haste on Golruk. And how about a little bit of greater invisibility on Golruk as well? Then we're going to stand here. And just give this guy a nice, polite bonk on the head. Oh. Why is Seema Temple in this fight? That doesn't seem like something I wanted. The Dominion really, really hate us now. I just wanted, like, a tiny bit of extra XP was all. I guess we can't get more hated than we currently are. That one's dead. Let's come and stand next to this doorway in case someone wants to run by. Unsent. If we cunning action dash to here and then hold an action to attack when this one walks out ready a melee attack I don't really know who I'm friends with anymore but it's fine what on earth who is Kalia Snowfox what is happening? They're just going after civilians now. That doesn't seem like a good thing. Um, well. This is a bad time. Let's go with a... second level guiding bolt just over here good start these two are going to rush along to join that's it get nice and clustered together that works really really well for me now if there's no other civilians in this space I think just a uh, a fourth level fireball right here. These are just all city guards, right? Yeah. How Wonderful. And we'll take some cover. Round two. Right. 
We really want, apparently, Seema Temple dead. Seems to be just going after civilians. I don't even know if they're necessarily on our side. I just don't want anyone dead who doesn't have to be. Oh, this is the rebellion. Well, I'm real, real confused. There is some chance that we might have to have a small do-over. Yeah. But, you know, you live and you learn. If there are no witnesses, we can't have a bad reputation, right? They're giving themselves some second wind. And an action surge. And a very measly attack. Go flawless concentration. Uh, I think we could probably just do like a big old third level inflict wounds. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Those guys are going inside. That's fine by me. Mate, don't even try. Uh, we have this city guard right here to concern ourselves with. Is this a ranged attack? Or is it a save? I think it's a save. Well, they're dead now. So it's just these two remaining. Golrook still invisible and completely unknown to the rest of the world. power of being invisible and still being able to take all of our actions. And then a cheeky little sneak attack to try and finish them off. Lovely. Bjorn, can we see that guy there? We cannot. Right, let's just dash in to here for next time push ourselves one extra tile in so that Jaina has somewhere to stand. Half that. Good nat one for you, sir. Jaina, what do you fancy doing for damage? We can see you from there through the doorway. Let's just go with like a second level magic missile. And then this is surely all but over now. We need to actually be close enough to hit the guard if we're going to strike at them. And a second time. And a third time. No, what are you doing? <laughs> that was not my intent. Still, we get that third strike in. Alright, there's my sliver of XP I wanted to level up. A scroll of burning hands is a fun one. Keeps and heaps of cash. Scroll of command. And poisons and stuff. Just take it all. Uh, there's more stuff out here. The rest of the citizens and stuff are just like, yeah, we're not bothered. Uh, scroll of Acid Arrow. Sure. Plate Armor. Not like we don't have all of 
the uh, carry weight in the history of the world. So with that done, the people like us and the uh, the other one. What's the other one? The people like us. The forge likes us. The Dominion, the faction of the Valley's ruler, so they hate us now, will attack us on sight. And the Rebellion, enemies of the Dominion, determined to overthrow it, they hate us as well, which is hilarious that we're hated by the two people that hate each other. The Mask is still kind of a mystery to me. The People and the Forge, I understand, and the Principality of Mazgarth, also just a bit like, I'm not really sure what's going on. But let's go and see if we can have a little sleep in the inn uh, don't try and pickpocket them please there's probably a free bed around the corner but you know clear skies adventurers <laughs> what can this lady get you just a bed for the night we need a room sure thing ten gold pieces Level 9. Level 9. Level 9. Unsend. Level up. Our proficiency bonus has increased to plus 4. Affects all attacks, saving throws, skill tool checks, and spell save DC. And we've also unlocked menacing. When you hit an enemy with a sneak attack, they have disadvantage on attacks made against you until the start of your next turn. That is a great feature to have. So we're now plus 11 to hit, 5 strength, 4 proficiency bonus, and a plus 2 rapier. Let's go Gulruk. 9 hit points, increase to 4. And we get third, 2 third level spell slots. Spell save increase, spell attack increase. And we can prepare those spells. So third level spells. What are we never using? Divine favor... Heroism, Shield of Faith. So, we... Okay. We now have access to Revivify. That's huge, just for keeping things, like, flowing in the course of the, uh, the campaign and not having to die and reset too much. We get our own instance of haste, which is kind of incredible. Uh, I'll take Daylight, just in case we attack any... Is it? Removes Darkness, removes Area of Darkness. Well, if there's not Sorax involved, I'm not that concerned then. Um, remove Curse, sure. And I guess I'll take... Aid is temporary hit points. Removes a detrimental condition. Give me Shield of Faith back, I guess. Then let's go Bjorn. Nine more HP, increase to four. Spell save DC increases to 18. Attack is now plus 10 on spell rolls. A fourth level spell slot and a fifth level spell slot. So let's prepare those. So we have one fifth level spell slot. What spells are we not using at all? Uh, aid we can drop shield of faith we can drop bane we can drop we'll drop bless as well more others are more likely to do that old monster is good dominate person is good then we've got some really choice spells over here raise dead bring one creature back to life up to 10 days after death Inflicts back from the dead. A minus four penalty on attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Complete a long rest to reduce this penalty. I mean, if that means we can carry on with a party of three for a little while, I'll be glad to have it prepared. Contagion. Hit a creature to inflict a disease from the options. Blinding sickness, filth fever, da 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 da. Fails of Wisdom save is blinded. Disadvantage on strength checks. Disadvantage on charisma checks and is vulnerable to all damage. That sounds like a lot of fun in there. Flame strike. 
4d6 fire damage plus 4d6 radiant damage. Greater restoration, dispel evil and good. Celestials, elementals, face, fiends and undeads have disadvantage on attacks against you. This spell also allows you to cancel hostile enchantments or dismiss extra planar creatures hit by one of your attacks. That's really cool. Insect Plague, we've seen be kind of incredible. 4d10 piercing concentration. Let's just get rid of... Cure Wounds and take... Dispel Evil and Good, just in case it comes up that we can get rid of... Some kind of elemental creature in that way we too now have fifth level spell slots select two spells or cantrips to learn so spells to put into our spell book conjure elemental air elemental earth elemental or fire elemental could be incredible does require concentration if you lose concentration it becomes hostile that's a problem Mind Twist causes massive psychic damage to creatures around you and incapacitates them if they fail an intelligence saving throw. And it's only hostile creatures, it says. That's kind of great. Especially on intelligence saves. Old Monster, Wisdom Saving Throw. Dominate Person, Wisdom Saving Throw. Cone of Cold, a very big 8d8 damage, whereas this is... That's Fireball. This is 8d6 versus 8d8. Cloud kill, 5d8 poison damage. Creatures in the area can't see anything and concentration. Becomes incapacitated. Just incredible. Hold monster and dominate person. Inflicts dominated mind, save to negate. The creature's actions are totally controlled by the caster. I mean, that also sounds incredible. It's just save or suck spells like that are a real, a real crapshoot. So let's learn Cloud Kill for now. Will we? Will we learn Cloud Kill? Now, let's go Dominate Person. Dominate Person is just going to be more interesting long term. Excuse you. One, two. That's what I want, right? Mind Twist, Dominate Person. Sure. Then we can prepare those. So what are we never using? Thunder Wave. Old Person. Dominate Person, Mind Twist. And how is our spell save DC? 17 uh, plus 9. It's a shame we haven't seen any spell focuses that'll do anything more for us. Now, part of me is like, what if we just killed everyone in all these places? This might be a bit tougher with so many of them around. We also have heaps and heaps of like extra armor and crap that we can get rid of. So let's go sell that. By shouting in the streets. They have been sentenced to a week in jail. A week in jail for shouting is a bit extreme. Right, so heaps and heaps of stuff to sell. Don't want darts. We don't need loads and loads of plate mail armor. I do want to look for some plus one leather or studded leather armor if we can find it. That is now on my radar as something we want. Well, this is worth two grand. That's pretty good going. 
what you got unsent. Uh, that's our heavy crossbow that we want to hold on to. Plus one longsword, I think, can probably go. Primed leather armor, primed breastplate. Any more for any more. Plus two charisma we'll get to eventually, I think. And very little back here. Your old mace can go. We don't need to lug that around. What do you have, kind sir? Leather armor, scale mail. Chain shirt, studded leather. I feel like there's a good chance we might have sold some plus one leather armor. Let's just buy some studded leather. A uh, primed studded leather. Let's buy that. Then let's go see what crafting we might be able to do with that. Primed leather armor, shard of fire. Plus two to AC, resistance to fire damage, fire damage is half. So it sets AC to 13, 11 plus two. This is leather armor of sturdiness, plus one. Studded leather armor of survival. Plus two to AC, plus two to saving throws. That's probably the one we want, right? Plus two to AC, plus two to saving throws, set to 13. So we want to make studded armor of survival for Unsen, I think. Unless this is much better. Plus one AC feature and empty string. Well, I'll never know what that's about. But I think if this is going to be AC 14 plus dex, then it would be AC 14 plus 4 dex is... 18 plus 3 shield is 21, which is definitely better than what we have. So let's get that crafting. That's 64 checks. It's going to be a while. Anything we want to just shove in our chest while we're here? Um... Just other primed weapons, primed armors. Oh, what are we wearing now? That is not what I wanted to do, is it? Put that on. Take that off. Okay, that's fine. Um, none of this really needs to go in. Anything extra primed or special around here. We'll keep a primed longbow around. The rest is fine. Alright, let's gather the party. Let's go and see if Henrik the Butcher has anything that we really tickles our fancy. Standard potion-y stuff. Standard weaponry stuff. Feathers, rings. Nah, just all the usual gumph. So, we need to make a decision now about what we're doing about quests. Kill all the defenders and take control of the outpost for the people. Catherine wants you to clear the bandits opposite and raise a new flag. This is for conquest on the mask and this is for the people and this is for the forge all right let's go after 
We're definitely friends with the people, so let's go do raid for Rose. To relieve pressure on the courts, there if we can no find a fireplace, we can sit and do just hours and hours of crafting trial. to get this better armor for Unsen, because that's going to be a really big impact to our AC and our general survival. Where are we going? One active quest, the conquest. Is that the one? Can I see which... I can go into my journal from here, can't I? Uh, Raid for Rose is the one I'm looking for. Can I track that and whatnot? Raid for Rose. Raid for Rose. Which one is it? Is it in the far off lands? Secret facility. Belic outpost. Conquest. I cannot see a place where Raid for Rose occurs. Gain control of the outpost. Reach the outpost. You reached the outpost. Which outpost is it? We could end up just doing a long tour of outposts at this rate. It is not this one. That's just the conquest. Tell you what, I'm going to Google it. So this is... Raid for Rose. One second. Satil's Outpost. We know that one? This one. How much travel to get there? One day... One long rest. Let's do it. I'm taking a new route. Getting the rest in early, I suppose. Right, we're 27 minutes in. Do we reckon we can speed run this? I'm so mad! I paused for the loading screen coming into this fight and then I never unpaused it and we've just been like destroying guards for who knows how long. Um, let me catch you up on what's been happening. Gulruk is invisible and hasted and killing people over here. Uh, we killed a bunch of people with fireball because there were weaker ones like um, novices and the rest and now really it's these three big chunky dominion arches that are our current problem i'm so sorry um where did the archer go the archer's up there i feel so dumb i've never made that mistake while recording before let's disengage and put ourselves up here there's a chance we could shove them off a wonderful effect given that Unsen is so strong Bjorn, we have a spiritual weapon and we know how to use it apart from the fact that we need to observe the target that we're going to try and hit we can't climb this ladder because stuff is in the way let's stand yeah. Can we make this hit? We can't. We can't reach the target. Fine, we'll come back down from our ledge. And with our spell, we're still concentrating on greater invisibility. So let's just go for like a third level one of these. Reasonable. Over here, we have advantage on our attacks because this one is not able to see us and also, I think, stunned. So, all of the reasons to be hitting really hard. Very dead. Good. Movement speed with haste gets us over here. Yeah, I'm very, very sorry you missed out on 
however many rounds of attacks there have been up to this point. Uh, we have advantage on attacking you if we want to. You're still ages away. I bet you have metal armor on, don't you? Although, we would have already had advantage anyway, wouldn't we? Yeah. Screw it, go for it anyway. Come on, you can do better. We missed. Uh, attack of opportunity. Yeah, go on. Where are they going? Up higher. It's fine by me. Archer going to try and get a sightline on Jaina, it seems. Not going well for them. Big whiff. We don't have an angle to shove this guy down from up here, unfortunately. So we'll come down and just continue sneak attacking. As a team. Take that. Lovely. Alright, well, cunning action dash. Let's go back up. Because at some point we're going to have to attack this guy between us. At some point, we should also give Golruk some more HP, but, you know, these things happen. Send the spiritual weapon up there. With our spell slots. Can we see you? We cannot, but I bet we can see you. Lovely nat one there. Just take a bit of distance around the corner. We're going to have advantage on all our strikes. So, you know. No harm coming over here. Three of them as well, because we're still hasted. I would love to get some kind of effect that would let us smite on a 19. Or crit on a 19. Um, what do we have left? Fourth level magic missile? Sure. So close. Wait for this to come back. Having, having some, uh, some trouble up there. It's at this point that I can't quite remember what the level cap actually is at the moment. Is it 12? Uh, that is a critical hit. We probably don't need to smite, but we can. They have 16 HP left. Let's not. A victory fit for a song. Because we still roll the extra D6s on our damage rolls anyway, right? You are going to get very stabbed, sir. And that's cunning action dash right up to here. Hopefully they can't push us off the back. Round eight. I don't suppose our spiritual weapon is going to be able to just straight diagonal line that far. Oh, they are. Lovely. Excellent work. And let's go with some more of this up there. Absolutely smashing. No way... I was going to say no way Goldrick gets to here in time, but given that we're hasted and have so many extra actions, we might, you know. I 
And no extra, extra action because it's been spent. We are no longer concentrating on bless. That's we, we blessed before the fight started and you can see that it's now been 10 rounds. Let's just magic missile at second level. Pop, 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 pop. They are stunned. We are sneak attacking. Got ya. All right, that is a quest resolved. Gain control of the outpost. Report back to Rose. Good job, kids. There's a mountain of food here. Indeed. Grown by the people for the people. Thank you again. We owe you so much. I need to organize distribution, but when it's done, I'll return to the safe house in the city. Meet me there if you want to help more. We'll see what we can do. You've gone too far to stop. The people regard you as heroes now. Do we drink for free at the safe house then? I hope we can play darts with a portrait of the Lord Protector. This is serious, friends. We'll see you soon, Rhea. All right. First of all, give me all of the stuff our foes dropped. Yeah, I'll take I'll take all that. Then I'll take this as well. At some point, I should really. Dolrik is lethargic after haste wears off. Um, we should go through and consider re-scribing any more spell slots and stuff. Interesting. What if we do it again? Oh. We can choose whose banners go places. That's super interesting. So whose banner do we want to put up is the question. Um, does anybody else care at the moment? Raise a new flag for the mask. I mean, this isn't the one in question, but we want some more standing with the mask that we don't currently have, so sure. Take all of this. Funny that the game just puts in so much random silver. The mage had scroll of spider climb. Would not be a bad one to scribe if we haven't got it in the book already. Now we can come up to this fireplace. And if all is well. What we're going to do is we're just going to spend a decent chunk of time just trying to get this stuff crafted. Because every time we wait here, it will be... 11 hours, then 8 hours of rest, then 16 hours of waiting, 8 hours of rest, etc. So, I will do that very quickly. Alright, Jaina has finished crafting the studded armor of survival. So, if we go to Jaina, does she have it? Is this it? Not giving me labels, that is it. So, give that to Unsen. Unsen with shield currently has AC 19. We take off the breastplate. It is AC 17. And with studded armor of survival, 21. Is that the same? No, it's 19 to 21. So 21 AC here, 21 AC there, 20 AC with mage armor active here, and 18 AC with a shield here. So. Our defenses are strong, things are going well, and I've no idea how many more quests there are in our kind of progress through the main campaign. Because when we go back to this, just escape the Lost Valley, you're trapped in the valley, Hella Fairway's mission to find Marion Ving seems harder than ever, explore the valley, talk to people, good luck, stay in the light. So I don't know how close to any of these other things we are to getting towards the result of that main quest line. 
We've just hit level 9. I think we cap out at level 12 at the current um, expansion. So join me next time where we will probably go back, report to Rose and see what else is going on. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.